Every October for the past 10 years, we venture northwest from Minnesota into the Prairie Pothole region of the Midwest in search of waterfall. For just a week or two every year, we travel into the core of the Mississippi Flyway around Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Our mission is simple, find ducks. Big water diver hunting has become one of our favorites over the last couple of years. We'll scout for rafts of bluebills, canvasbacks, buffleheads, and redheads on open water. This year we were reminded that there is no guarantee in waterfall hunting. You can do everything right, you can be in the right place, have a good hide, and sometimes the birds just don't do what they're supposed to do. And sometimes, all it takes is a change in weather. The number one most important thing in waterfowl hunting is unarguably being in the right location. I got some up in the air too, yeah. over right over your shoulder, mm -hmm. over the, those trees out there. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, I, well, there's a ton of them. They're mallards. Yeah, it's a, there's a big duck feed somewhere over there. After eating ducks for lunch, we hit the road for six to seven hours each day in effort of finding the next big feed. For every 10 feeds that we find, we'll get permission to hunt on one of them. Every time we get a yes on a posted field, I imagine this is what it's like when you win the lottery because we all know what the next morning is going to look like. Over the years, we've expanded our flock of decoys to allow us to hunt anything that we find. If we need to put out 800 snows, we can. If we find a massive honker feed, we got it. We hunt mostly out of A-frames from Avian X, but we still put the ground blinds to use every once in a while if we're in the mood to have them land in our face. Divers are fun, goose hunting is a blast, but nothing compares to green heads falling from the heavens and tornadoing down into your decoys.
he's ready to go. Good morning, it's about 3.30, and uh, we got an hour drive this morning. For the last morning of our trip, we set up in a bean field that had a decent amount of ducks in it the night before. The majority of what we saw while we were scouting were gadwalls and widgeons with a few mallards sprinkled in. With only one other option of an unposted field and the thought of, of sleeping in it all night with 20 degree weather, we decided why not end our trip with a brown duck beatdown. They high? Oh yeah. Oh, three ducks. Ready? Go! I did not jam, but I made sure I did not miss on that first shot. Hey, that's how we do it. That was beautiful. Two. 